Are you going on a cruise and wondering how you can possibly organize your cruise cabin? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what we use and how we organize our cruise cabin, and I'll share a few cruise hacks that we use as well. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are in beautiful St. Thomas. We're gonna be heading out shortly back to sea, of course. And I thought I would show you a little bit around our cabin, how we organize our space. If you do have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started and take a look around. Now, if you're wondering what type of cabin that we're in and what ship we are on, uh, we're on the Regal Princess. We're in a deluxe balcony cabin. And even though we are on this ship, this is pretty much how we would organize our cabin space on any cruise ship that we are on. Now, the first thing that I like to do is just hang up as much of our clothing as possible. So I hang up um, men's t-shirts. We are three people in this cabin. So I have a 21 year old son, um, myself, and my husband and this is pretty much our clothing now something that i've mentioned before is that we are not light packers this is an eight day cruise we have brought probably more than we need but we do actually wear quite a lot of our clothes now we're actually on i think it's day five of our cruise so you can tell our cabin is very lived in but what i wanted to really show you here is that we are using magnets that we have brought from home and we use these magnets to just kind of keep well different things we're keeping our bathing suits and we can keep bags um, we can keep house coats just all sorts of different things our sun hats all of that we keep usually in this space and these magnets let me show you again are just super super handy now the next thing that we really like to use that i think is a great cabin organization tip or a cabin hack is these magnet clips now it's actually the first time that i'm ever using them but these work so well we were able to keep our shore excursion tickets uh, right on the wall at the beginning of our cruise we're on day five now so it's been a while but everything else that we've wanted to keep out of the way uh, really off this desk it has been so convenient so handy to have it on the wall now something else that we use is a power cube and a power bar this one has the usbs it has a couple of electric outlets this is really convenient because otherwise we really only have uh, one electric outlet right behind there now we over here use a power cube as well we do have a few different electronic items so this has been really practical for our cruise now I wanted to show you something else as well, and it costs no money to do this, but it really does add some extra space. And it is the space that you have right under the bed. So let me show you what I mean. Now, right under there, you can see one of our suitcases just peeking out. So what we do is we travel with two suitcases, one fairly large suitcase and one medium size because we are three people and we're able to put them both right under this bed. And this way, well, our cabin on the most part stays pretty neat and organized. And I should mention, I really wanted to make this video a few days in because this cabin is lived in. So when I say organized, I mean organized and functional, but in a lived in home kind of way. Now this item that you see peeking out from under the clothing in our closet has been a godsend. That has been our mesh laundry basket so super super handy we've just been keeping this there and this way when we need to have all of our laundry well we just put it in there and every few days we get our laundry done and you could of course put it anywhere but we do have space in the closet so that's been a nice easy out of the way place to keep it now we do travel with a lot of electronics uh, wires so what we've been doing is we've been keeping this electronics case also very very convenient we're able to keep everything inside it and put away things as we need so let me show you around in our bathroom definitely not the most glamorous part of the cabin but we've pretty much filled up our shelves with the things that we're using on a daily basis there you go now right underneath that's where we keep kind of our uh, toiletry bag or our carry-on bag. That was really, really very good to board the cruise ship. 
And over here, this is our hanging toiletry bag. So it's really been able to keep, well, some of the other items just off the counters in this hanging toiletry bag. Now I know what some people do, I'm gonna open this door, is that they use um, an over the door hanging organizing bag. And I do think that that is really very convenient. You can put it right over here. So if you prefer to keep everything really on uh, your vertical wall space or your door, you could definitely do that. I may try that the next cruise, but so far I have been using the shelves and that hanging toiletry bag. Now another cruise cabin necessity for us is the Poopery bathroom spray. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you know, you know, you must bring this on your cruise. Now, although I didn't bring this for my own cruise cabin, a lot of people really like to bring a portable fan with them. If you're cruising in an inside cabin or in an ocean view where you can't open the doors, or if you just get really quite hot, cabins can get stuffy, so you might wanna bring a portable fan with you. Now, looking into the cabin, you can see that the cabin definitely does still have some space that you can organize things. Next to the bed, there is a night table. And again, this is on the Regal Princess. There is another one on the other side of the bed. We're three people in this cabin in the deluxe balcony, but if you're two people, you would really have basically the same amount of space. That love seat that you see um, turns into a twin size uh, hide a bed, if you will. But otherwise you would still have the same size cabin. Now what we've also done is this time we've decided to use a travel alarm clock just to be able to keep that on ship's time all the time. That's been pretty convenient. And um, we've also tried using the um, the motion censored light for the nighttime. We do have a 21 year old and he does tend to come in later at night than we do go to bed. Now, because we were planning on going uh, on a beach excursion and we changed our mind, we did end up bringing some towels to our cabin uh, last night to be prepared, but we didn't end up using them. So they are still here and our beach bag is prepared as well, but we decided on something different for today. Now here we have a little mini fridge. Now in our case, we have a mini bar set up that was included with our cruise. So we have those items here in, um, in the cabin, but in some cases what we'll do is we'll ask the cabin attendant to empty out the fridge and then we can put our water bottles and other things in there if we want. Now, one last thing that I did want to mention is if you look around in really in this cabin, but in any of the cruise cabins, there are a ton of little small spaces that are there that if you do want to organize things and put things away, just remember where you put them, but you can definitely find all sorts of nooks and crannies to be able to use to organize your cabin space. Now, if you could use cruise packing lists and even a list of cruise essentials, I have all of that in the Ultimate Cruise Planner. The Ultimate Cruise Planner is a downloadable uh, cruise planner that you can print out. It's 47 pages and there basically is everything that you could need from the point in time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation, including shore excursion planning forms, cruise outfit planners, and more. I will leave the information linked in the description below in case you are interested. Now I hope this video was helpful for you as you plan on going on your own cruise. I am going to leave all of the items that I did talk about in the video. I'll leave them linked in the description below. And I'd love to hear from you. What are the things that you bring on a cruise that help you to organize your cruise cabin? I am going to leave a video right after this one all about what you pack for a Caribbean cruise. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.